King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong. The reason that I made my Discord server um probably about two, maybe three years ago is because I needed a way to communicate with different people while I'm playing a video game. PlayStation and even Xbox party chats have been terrible for a very long time. And the reason that they're terrible is because everybody doesn't have one of the best microphones in the business for their actual consoles. So Discord for me is like my safe haven where, you know, we can come get together and game and, you know, occasionally talk about a whole bunch of different things and also find games with other people. But, you know, in recent months, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, my server turned into a porn Reddit hub. Like, I don't know why, but it seemed like my Discord server was just going that route. Now, it was nobody's fault but my own, and I didn't have enough, you know, locks and keys and doors and stuff like that in different layers throughout my server. It was like, once you got to my server, you had access to everything. I couldn't verify anything. I couldn't do nothing. All I did was say, hey, Here's my Discord link, pop in the waiting room, and then we can game. That was how my Discord went. But now things are so much different. And I guess I'm here to explain to you guys all the differences. So if you notice, I am viewing this server as one role. So let me drop down and show you the role that I am uh, doing it. So the role newbie is where you can see the start here page. And I'll show you that in a second. The role everyone means nothing if you have the role everyone when you first come to my server you can't see anything when you first get here is literally probably just server stats all my members the rookies and twitch up you don't see nothing but when you get the newbie role and you come over here to rules the only thing you have to do literally the only thing you have to do is click this reaction it's the rookie three reaction that's literally the only thing you have to click and then the server will start opening and i'm gonna show you what i mean by that so for the newbie chat as soon as you become a newbie you will have access to this chat this is basically the general chat for all newbies if anybody has a question about you know how to get roles or they see some of their friends that they they met and they be like oh i know him you can add people here you can do all of that it's just you can't send gift links you can't send links you can't upload images none of that this is literally like lock and key if you notice this person right here famous crusher has a combination lock on his name this means that this person is still a newbie and he asked about no more i nasty i nasty used to be the room that people came to for exactly that the um over 18 john so he he was just like no more i nasty that's probably literally the only thing he came here for because he has yet to upgrade his roles yet now when we come into rules right you have access to announcements which everything is here as far as like when i'm doing giveaways and you know when um i have like a huge announcement like me working with a new company or something like that that's where i put that um information notice is for my twitch streams my facebook streams my youtube uploads and sometimes if i may sign with a new company that has a streaming platform or a video platform i put those notice here as well my facts page is basically all the frequently asked questions about this server so basically the rules, socials, announcements, notice, role support. And if you notice, when you're viewing this role as a newbie, literally everything that's highlighted here in the facts pages, like chat, anime, builds, memes, music, credit stocks, you don't get to see that until you become a rookie. So you have to click there. Then of course, you know, I have my website link that has like all of my socials, which is my link tree. You can click that, follow me anywhere. I have everything there, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, just everything, Discord, all that. So then the support page is basically when people are completely lost and don't understand nothing about what I'm saying to y'all right now. Like literally they're like probably brand new to Discord, don't know nothing about it. This is where they could put in a ticket you know, get a one-on-one, -on -one, like, you know, how to get your roles and how to interact with people in the Discord. And also people can report other people if they doing some shady stuff, if I don't see it myself. Um, So basically, let me show you this, right? Now I'm gonna click on rules for a minute and then we're gonna look at this with another role, all right? We're gonna look at it with the rookie role. Let me see if it's going to let me. 
me see where is it at where is it at okay so why is that person trying to add me okay so if i look at this with the rookie roll look at the side panel it's going to be another room that opens up when you click rookie see what I, everybody just got they got the rolls uh room which is right here and this room is for where you get all the rest of your roles for my server that means you get the nba 2k role which gives you access to the 2k uh joint which i'll show you the apex legends role that gives you the uh access to all the apex legend uh rooms and then you know whatever uh console you on whatever position you are for 2k so when specific people at like yo i need a power forward they'll add power forward and if you have that role and you have time to play the game on whatever console you can go ahead and respond back so once you get your roles here you good to go but let me show you something when you become a rookie you automatically get everything on a fax page except for builds builds is when you get the 2k role and i'll show you that but if you notice if you become a newbie to a rookie you get access to all these other rooms which is an ikc nation ikc nation has a chat for regular just chatting we have a sneakerheads chat we have a rank chat where you can check on your rank we also have a keto chat for dieting and stuff like that and people want to better themselves also we have the credit repair we have the stock advice where i do one-on-one -on -one work with people when they need advice and stuff like that and also when people need like my 24 month plan on how to build your credit or you know need stock advice for like retirement stocks and stuff and then we have the content for reaction streams so the content for reaction streams streams is a little bit different that means like if i'm live on twitch and twitch is the only place i can go and react to stuff without getting copyrights and getting my streams taken down you can come in here and drop anime clips we can have watch parties movie nights we can do reactions on memes music reels reddit streams tiktok and youtube videos people will literally while i'm streaming put links there so that i can watch them and stuff like that so people that are basically a part of my streams should be a part of my discord as well um now back up to the uh roles right now if you notice the nba 2k role and the apex legends role is hit for a lot of people so if you look at my name right I have a bunch of roles and that's because i'm the owner of the server i have the sales squad role in which you know raunchy ricky trey chase ken like they all have right nitro booster twitch three uh tier three sub you know like all of these joints i'm a legend elite superstar all-star pro rookie i have the apex legend 2k playstation and all of the positions role plus the streaming role and i even have the newbies role because everybody should have that for now now let me show you guys what I mean about when you come to the facts page and the 2K builds room is not open. So let me go ahead and close these down for you real quick so that you guys can see when they pop up. So if you then add the NBA 2K role, right? Boom. Automatically, the NBA 2K joint on the side panel pops up. So if I leave here and come back, you now see that you have access to the builds room so basically it's it's not that hard it's literally you know click on the rules get your first role as a rookie come down to roles and just get all the rest of your roles and you will have access to everything so inside the 2k chat we have you know when people want to talk about 2k um when people want to talk about builds and stuff like that specifically where they want to drop pictures and links and all of that stuff and then matchmaking was built for calling out for lfg we haven't really you know rotated into that i'm gonna start using that probably in the coming weeks where people literally just go to that chat to ask for people to play with once people ask for people in that chat that chat goes dormant again right now we're all just asking for players in just the 2k chat itself you know what i mean and we all just you know busy talking in there um the 3v3 is for park 5v5 is for rec um we have a rating waiting room for people that want to be with me while i'm streaming in my stream room you know what i mean some people could pop in and stuff like that say hello you know as long as they do don't do anything crazy they're allowed to come in and say yo what's good potter just want to say hi and stuff like that but if they do something crazy they're automatically banned automatically banned and the reason that i say that is you can't do anything in my server without me knowing and i'll show you guys what i mean um at the end of this video right so after we go there let me go ahead and show you the apex room 
So, you know what I'm saying? This is another role that you get. You get the Apex Legends joint. Now, if you notice, it's right under IKC Nation, right? It's the same setup with the 2K joint. You have a chat, but they, we don't have like a build chat. We just have Apex chat and matchmaking. So the Apex chat, I'm actually going to have when Apex Legend tweets, not mentions or replies, but just tweets about certain things because they tweet about like when new seasons is starting and stuff like that, that will have an actual Twitter feed inside the chat same thing with 2k when they tweeting you know what i mean i'll throw their tweets in there as well um i won't i won't do their reddits though i feel like reddit posts like r slash like slash r nba 2k like that reddit is just crazy so i'm not gonna do that it's only gonna be their twitter accounts um and what else sneaker heads i want to put something where drops are happening um i'm gonna talk to um an actual uh like Twitter account that runs like sneaker releases and stuff. And I'm gonna see if it's cool that I use their Twitter as something like, you know what I mean? To work out with them. No, I'm not gonna get any money for it or nothing like that. It's just to keep people apprised to what's happening and what's going on. And I might drop that in a sneakers joint too, so that these chats can actively be, you know, you know, just talking about what's going on in the sneaker game and stuff like that. Now, um, let's see. All right, let's uh let's talk about two things before I uh I show you guys why you can't do anything in my server that I I won't know about. So, the credit chat. Real quick. If anybody out there is about building credit and bettering themselves and their family and their family trees and their generational wealth and all that nonsense, learning about credit is huge. So, if you guys want to come here and learn about credit and even talk to me about helping you build your credit, I got you. Just make sure that you guys come over to credit then go down to the sub thread and then that's where you can chat at. You can't chat in this room. This room is simply for just look, learn, research, rinse and repeat. When you wanna talk about credit, that's what this credit chat is for. Anybody in here can talk about it. And the credit lounge is just where we join for voice, one-on-one -on -one meetings or even group discussions and stuff. Um, now, same thing with uh, stock advice as well. So let me see. So for stock advice, same thing. If you want to learn how to invest in stocks or, you know, how to do the slow game, I'm not talking about day trading. I'm not talking about daily trading stocks and stuff like that. I'm talking about long game with like, you know, EFTs and stuff like that. Like just straight up long term stuff. This chat is perfect, easy, workable, workaround type stuff. I went with like the Dave Ramsey type approach with like being slow and steady because once you learn this, It'll let you know if you're that type of person to then get into investing more into single stocks and stuff like that. I'm not really a single stock trader, mainly because I don't need to, but some people actually might want to make a living off that. Me, I'm, I'm trying to make livings off of other things. Um, and there's also a sub thread for that as well, where you can come in here and talk about stocks and stuff like that. We'll probably get that rolling once Big Div gets all of his roles and stuff like that in a, in a joint. Now, um, like I said, right, you can't do anything inside my chat without me knowing, right? So let me show you guys what I mean by that. Let's go ahead and disable that. And we're going to go to four mods only. Now, four mods only has two rooms that the mods use, right? That's logs and mods, right? Mods, when they come here, they like basically all this stuff that you see right here is me literally adding bots doing roles like the whole shebang like even ron chin them came in here and was talking and stuff when i was doing you know all of the stuff like you know what i mean um logs this is why i say you can't do anything in my chat or my discord server without me knowing literally when people leave channels join channels i see all of it so if you come in my my stream and come inside my voice chat and say something crazy like literally i have your account i'm going to look up your account if you have any of your social media accounts linked to your discord i'm going to each specific account and i'm blocking you across all platforms so i'm just going to make myself clear right here right now if you do something in my discord and i find you elsewhere you're getting banned everywhere understand me like literally all of this stuff when people roles change when they leave when they when they type something and delete something like let me see somebody typed something and deleted something earlier let me see if i could if i could show you okay look 
So KD, he typed inside the newbies chat and then deleted it. We have all the info. We got the tape. You know what I'm saying? No. So if any, so if anything happens to you in my Discord server and you say all oh, the mom, them bum ass niggas snitched on you, no, they didn't snitch on you. You snitched on yourself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that out there. Um, I know that people see the I Nasty channel it still exists. It will never be reopened at all so i'm just trying to figure out a way to get it out of there without getting it out of there because it's a lot of content in there that a lot of people want access to so i might just give it um access to one person so that he can go in and just download everything that he needs and then for his server you know what i mean because he's going to be making a server specifically for that so i'm just going to probably give him access to it to download all of his stuff and then once he's done with it and he says he the okay to delete it it's going to get deleted um also this is where tickets go after they're closed and stuff like that and we have a meeting room you know what i'm saying uh let's see um tickets basically when people go to support and make a ticket these are where the tickets show up for people like me and if you notice when you go to a ticket it's only moderators the sales squad and our bots in there including you so if you you know don't you know think that you know everybody's seeing your ticket and stuff everybody's not seeing your ticket just the people that's trusted to help you and i come in for every ticket and i ask people do they need help this guy i asked him did he need help two days ago um this guy said what channels do you need access to he didn't respond and i told him to refer to the announcement page for more info and guess what he has all of his roles i told him to just go straight to announcement reading is fundamental and now my guy got all his roles he's a rookie he has his apex role 2k role he's on both consoles and he has every position so he has all of his roles that he needs uh this person right here big div like i said he has to get his roles and big div finally got his rookie role big div don't care about gaming much with me but he knows that he needed that rookie role in order to access the credit chat and the stock chat so he's probably going to be there mainly um this person i asked him do you need any help hasn't responded back yet uh he was like he said that this joint was accidental but he was just trying to learn the discords and i said you know you need to get all your roles to get to the 2k channel and we played 2k with him earlier today so that means that he has every role that he needs pg small four power four playstation he's any he, and he plays 2k so he has all his roles but basically uh that's it man you know what i mean real quick you know, if you come to my server, go to the rules page, make sure you react to this, uh, these rules. Then you come down to roles, get all the roles that apply to you. And then you're done. You're going to have access to the discord and you're going to be a rookie and you can talk to whomever you want in the discord, communicate with people and, you know, just help build a community. But, uh, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Um, I want to thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all. And, uh, bye.